So far we have three and we're just going down the line here and you're going to be doing this on your end with whatever ASINs you want. Sound like Bob Ross or something. Happy little ASINs, no mistakes. Just grab whatever ASINs you want. Hey, welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna to be going over Helium 10's new advanced filter. It's really cool, I've been having some fun with it already. Um, so let's get right into that tool. All right guys, so it's kind of a hidden feature here. Um, it's not right out in the open, so a lot of you might not have noticed this, but Helium 10 did just release a new feature. Um, and if you go head over to their blog, they had a cool story about how this came to be, about dreaming. So we're gonna click into Cerebro here. Now, you guys know how much I like Cerebro. I'll leave a video link right in the description. Uh, it'll be at the bottom of the description. There'll be a link there. You can click it. It'll take, a, take you to a video I just made recently about how to use Cerebro and how powerful it actually is. Used it on one of my own listings, real live example, so that'll be a cool one to check out. But watch this video first. All right, so what we're gonna do, of course, with Cerebro, we need ASINs. So we're gonna use a little mock market here. We're gonna come over to Amazon. Um, and then we're gonna use this mason jar sconce as an example. Just a quick home decor product that I pulled up just to use as, you know, act like this is your product. So you'll be, you know, of course, using this on your own product or possibly products you're looking into starting. Um, we're just gonna be using this as an example. So the first thing that we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna get some ASINs, right? So first of all, let's go, you know, pull up x-ray and then we'll be able to copy the ASINs right from the side. It's not really necessarily necessary to use async grabber in this situation because we could just hand pick some of the best sellers. So right off the bat, this guy's sponsored here and he's not doing, you know, all that great. We can see he's doing about, you know, 2000 sales uh, in, in sales, $2,000 in sales per month. But then the guy right under him is doing 87. So I would say that this listing is a lot better ASIN to use because it's a better representation of keywords, right? A listing that gets $90,000 in sales per month will have a lot more ranking uh, than a listing that only has 2000. And of course the examples might not be that extreme in your case, but use, you know, your best competitors ASIN. So I'd use your top five competitors by most sales. Um, so we could then even what we could do is we could sort by sales. So we just grabbed him and then we could grab this one here. Go ahead and add that. And what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna add about five ASINs, maybe six, maybe we'll do six. So far we have three and we're just going down the line here and you're gonna be doing this on your end with whatever ASINs you want. Sound like Bob Ross or something. Happy little ASINs, no mistakes. Just grab whatever ASINs you want. All right, uh, I'm getting carried away here. So well, how many did we just do? We just did six, okay, that's kind of what I said. And now this might take a second. These are such big listings with so much data that it might take a while to gather some keywords, um, but we'll see. You know, I, I pay a healthy penny for my internet connection, so maybe it'll uh, it'll c come through. And it looks like it's going just fine. Um, so how many results are we gonna get? <laughs> how many results are we gonna get here? Okay, yeah, so 71,000 filtered keywords. That's quite a bit, that's like, that's a lot. Um, so then what we're gonna do is we wanna filter that down, right? These are, a lot of these are gonna have 200 search demand, 240. We wanna look at our main keywords that our competitors are ranking for. So what we're gonna do as normal, right? We're not even at the new feature yet. What we're gonna do is we're gonna filter this down. Let me see only keywords that have a minimum search volume of 1,000. So that means that there's 1,000 customers per month searching this exact phrase on Amazon. Now position and rank is gonna be one of the most important filters to to put in. We're gonna do a minimum of one. So that means that they're ranked number one on Amazon through 50, right? So there's about um, there's about 55 listings that show up on a page of Amazon desktop version. So what we can do is we could put 50 in here. That's not counting like inspired by your views. There's technically like 60 something. This means that they're gonna be showing up on page one. What we've done, what page, you know, organic rank position one through organic rank position 50. In, in this case, it, we don't even have uh, just organic selected, so this is just any of those positions. Um, we're gonna do a word count of two through seven, and then we're gonna go ahead, go ahead and hit apply. Now watch what happens to the number of filtered keywords. Wow, so we went from 71,000 to just 84 filtered keywords. Now, what the new feature is, is it's an advanced filter. So we're gonna select advanced filters, um, and where it is, is it's right here, advanced rank filter. Now what this is gonna do is it's gonna allow us to say, let me see a minimum of three. So this is ASINs and this is rank. A for ASIN, R for rank. Let me see a minimum of three out of the six ASINs that I just entered, so these six ASINs. Um, let me do a minimum of three out of the six ASINs that haven't 
rank of one through maybe let's say 25. Okay, so now we're looking at at least three of these ASINs have to be showing up on these keyword phrase searches in position one through 25. Okay, so now we're down to 24 specific phrases. Now guys, the reason this is so important is check this out. We're gonna sort by search volume here and look at this. So three of those ASINs are ranked one through 25 for wall decor. Now they're doing quite well. We picked some big ASINs, so that's why there's such an impressive keyword here. But check some of these out, right? Mason jar decor, sconces wall decor, rustic bedroom decor, home wall decor, country decor, flower wall, wall decor, rustic wall sconce, mason jar decorations for home, and mason jar sconces wall decor. And we could keep going on here. There's tons of good keywords. But what we've done now is we've reverse engineered the process of, well, what are my best competitors who have the most information on their listings ranking for in the top of the page? And where are these people frequently showing up? So what we're able to do now, maybe let's say we want two that are showing up in the top 15 maybe. So two, at least two of these ASINs are showing up in the top 15 spots for the following keywords. So we jump from just 24 all the way, uh, we actually went up. So maybe it's probably because we dropped an ASIN. If we went from three and then decreased it from 25 to 15, we're now, instead of 24, we're going to be looking at just 18 keywords. So at least two of the ASINs above, or at least three of the ASINs above are showing up for the in the top 15 spots for these keywords. Now we have a very, very targeted list of keywords that our best competitors are showing up in the spot where they're getting the most sales from. So we've literally hacked into these competitors' listings, looked at their backend keywords, and then we've sorted them all the way down to see a common group of keywords that all of these competitors are using to get sales. Now, why is this so important? Because it's gonna allow us to take a very targeted approach. I would take, I would take this list of 18 to 30 keywords that you get from your market and you might get less right you might only get five very specific keywords if you're in a smaller market i kind of purposefully used a little bit of a more exciting market so we would get more results like this um, but it's okay if you only have five take those and put them in an exact match ppc campaign with high bids and test out your product for those specific products because hopefully what you should have done is picked asins that are very specific to your product right who has a very specific product to you in a very specific niche um, that has a similar feel a similar style to yours where are they getting their sales from we're not going to be able to bust in use a filter like this to see specifically out of the asins that you've chose where are the keywords that they're ranking in the top spot top maybe first row maybe first 20 that's where you get to decide have some fun and play around with it um, i've already personally done this on the listing that i have in production right now will be shipping out on april 5th um, our first 350 units for i just came up with a gold mine of keywords that i'm going to be targeting very aggressively on day one of launch with this product um, i'll be launching a low competition product but the amount of keywords that I was able to come up with that my competitors are ranking for, some of them I had never even thought of. So that's why this is so powerful and it's such a cool little feature. Now this is, you know, advanced rank filter in Helium 10. Many of you might've looked over it, so I did want to kind of bring some attention to it because I liked it so much. I've already used it quite a bit on my own products and it's brought amazing results to my keyword research. I think this is what Helium 10 is known for. They're super, proactive and super productive with coming out with these very specific filters that maybe from the outside look like a tiny little feature but when you're a user and you start using these things you're like wow that is creative i'm quite impressed and what that you know then transfers over into being in a materialistic you know business model um, you have actual raw data that you can now go take advantage of um, so these are super useful. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. We're going to leave it here. Go have some fun with this. Let me know what you think of this tool down below. I've personally been using it for only a couple hours now and I'm having a really good time with it. I think it's a really cool updated filter. Um, be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. You can click the button on your right hand side to sign up for a phone call with me. Go watch another video right here. You can also subscribe right there. Um, so without further ado, hopefully you guys have a great week and I'll see you here for the next video on the channel. Later.